News at 4. I'm Vanessa Freeman. And I'm Tamsin Fidel. We're going to have those stories coming up in just a bit. Plus, the benefit of sugary... That's right. How good is Beautiful. this? Smile yeah. away, everybody. Great week weather-wise. Mm -hmm. And what we will be covering now, crews on the control, will show us during the cast that we'll be talking about the marathon. And we'll also be talking about the upcoming week. And also, we have G-Thing on that day. The New York City Marathon and festivities start just an hour from now. Yeah, that's right. Today was also the first performance of the Christmas Spectacular. The Radio City Rockets returned to the stage for the first time in almost two years. And if that's not enough, Billy Joel makes his triumphant return to Madison Square Garden. Yeah, New York's very own Piano Man is holding his first concert at MSG since March of 2020 and fans obviously are excited. Greg Mocker is so fed up she had a conversation with the cow <laughs> to see how she was doing. And she's running the marathon? Yeah, right? she, and she has a lot of followers. We're one of them and we're going to show it later on. Great, I can't awesome. wait to see it. Love those stories. Mm -hmm. Do you think Many people from all over the globe can once again visit the greatest city in the world? Yes. International vaccinated travelers will be allowed in the U.S. for the first time since the start of the pandemic. And for folks flying into Newark or JFK, there will be a new COVID testing program to add an extra layer of protection. Yeah, Pix Love's Katie Crotto was there to check it all out. Love her. Yeah, Great story. Her. How can you not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there was a part where I was telling you guys off camera. Love her. Yeah. Great you story. How can you not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there was a part where I was telling you guys off camera. Love her. Great story. How can you not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there was a part where I was telling you guys off camera. Cameras. Country 80 years ago. Now he's stepping up once again to help his community. An army veteran who just turned 100 years old is answering the call to action. Jeremy Hubbard has his story.